Okay, so the other thing I have noticed with this is that this does not follow convention for the output polarity. I've got this connected up to, so this is reading volts at the moment. I've got this connected to the Shimano unit. You can see, hopefully, I try and line it up in front of the camera. Yeah, there you see red lead in pause and black lead in the negative. And then the same with this one. You can see the red lead is in the line or the positive. Black lead is in the earth or the negative. I'll set this one up to put out 100 volts and this will measure the voltage. I'll put it out. It takes a little while with this one. You can see we've got 109 volts and it is normal polarity on there. If I now swap the functions over, put this one onto insulation test and this one onto voltage and do the same again. You can see I have a minus out here and this is actually putting out positive volts on the earth and the zero volts is on the line connection which doesn't follow a normal convention for an insulation tester. In terms of testing AC, it doesn't really, or an AC circuit, it doesn't really make any difference. But if you were testing DC circuits with this insulation tester, you could potentially get some false readings with this one if you weren't aware that the polarity was swapped. Um, and I've looked through the manual, I can't actually see anywhere in the manual where it says the polarity is actually swapped over on the output. So yeah, that's about it really. Um, it's the Hioki, fairly basic insulation tester with Ohm's function, AC DC voltage measurement and 50 to 1000 volt insulation test. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it's been some use to you and I'll see you in the next video.